G'day everyone, Goober here with another Torchlight SS4 video, or basically Torchlight Infinite in general. Now, even though I have made uh, a couple of crafting videos in the past, 18 in total, um, I believe I need to try and simplify this as much as possible. So here is a step-by-step -step guide of how I go about crafting to make it as simple as possible. Step one is obviously find out what you want to craft. Personally, I on this helmet, all I can see that's good is max terra quantity. So I'm going to craft a helmet that has max terra on it. So go to the trade house, go to advanced. You want item level 100, so you can have tier zero affixes. You want gear plasticity of 200 so you can craft on it. Otherwise, you're going to need a 5 affix base, uh, which is very unlikely. And then the main thing that I want is max terra charge stacks. And then alternately, um, I would like sealed um, mana reduction. So if I can get both of these at tier 0... Uh, that would be ideal for a crafting base. So just searching, there is a whole bunch of these up for next to nothing. So 9FE for a base is actually insane. Um, makes me think that this helmet is not going to be worth anything, but I'm going to do it for the sake of the video anyway. Um, and then you can just go through, if there's multiple pages, um, you can look at all the different bases that you want. And if you think you're going to need to do multiple crafts, hot tip, you probably will, because uh, you'll brick a, a base or two or three or seven or 10, um, depending on how lucky you are. You can just star other ones here. Now your starred items go into your collection. Um, and I've just added some extra ones here. Uh, these ones here seem like they'd be really good. However, if you do the dream crafting at the end, then you're going to remove the plus one spell skill level. So maybe it's not the best idea. However, and it's a, they are much more expensive and it also doesn't have the minus um, sealed aura effect. So oh, this one also has another mod that I want, which is the max energy shield. So... I'm just going to buy a couple of these bases um, and I won't buy one of those yet unless these other ones brick. So now that we have the bases, what we need to do is obviously craft them up to the Gamba stage. Now let's start with the ones that I really want to succeed. So all we need to do is lock the two affixes that... Uh, we want to keep. Now, additionally to this, we would like um, aura effect or... So in the prefixes, um, going through the list, energy shield, percent energy shield would be great. Uh, max energy shield would be great. Um, going down, we've got the sealed mana. Support skill level would be also also be good. However, it's a 0.07% chance of um, success. So that's uh, likely a targeted craft, which comes later. The chance of hitting this is uh, really quite tiny. Uh, tier 1 is plus 2. Uh, I'm unsure what tier 0 is. Maybe it's plus 3, which would be really nice. So what we need to aim for here is the two tier zeros are the most important and then the last affix that you want to craft on here with flame sand is the one that you want at a tier zero, uh, tier one so what i mean by that is we want to hit those energy shields or on suffix uh, aura effect i would really like at a tier zero so i don't really want to hit this one um we've got terra stack charges um Affliction effect at tier 0 or tier 1 would be fantastic. So what we want to hit is energy shield, energy shield. Um, I'd even settle for aura effect and affliction. That's pretty much the 
the four extra mods that we want. So we just hit and we're using plasticity because we're going for the third uh, item. We didn't hit it there. We've got energy shield here, but it's a tier five. So we could just upgrade this and uh, be happy with that, um, which I think I will do. So you just upgrade this to tier one. Now that's the one that I want to stay at tier one. These other two I want at tier zero. Now here is the biggest gamber part of this entire thing, uh, which is we need to upgrade sealed mana and max terror charges to tier zero. Now, when we upgrade one of these, uh, it removes any other mod. It can remove locked ones, so doing that does nothing. Um, but we want this to go tier zero and the intelligence to be removed or the area damage. And then we want to do the sealed mana and also remove one of these two mods. So let's give this a go and see what happens. It removed... The energy shield to this item is now bricked. Uh, this is end game crafting, so um, that's where I would stop. If you didn't have a whole bunch of currency, I would not recommend trying to do one of these crafts with any less than like 2000 flame elementium. You would just do that one, and there you go. That double bricked, so that item is just completely ruined. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go for that at all. So that one is just absolute garbage now. So we'll do another one. Again, lock these two. We're looking for aura effect, affliction effect, uh, or energy shields. So we've got energy shield again, first hit. We'll upgrade this to tier one, and we'll upgrade the sealed mana, and that's bricked immediately as well. Unfortunate, uh, let's unlock that so that's two helmets that are bricked already um oops that one's yeah so that one bricked that one bricked this one i wouldn't mind this a tier zero however i would prefer sealed mana <coughs> so hopefully we can hit sealed or something um if we hit affliction that would be okay Um, I'm not hopeful because it'd be nice at tier zero, but it's not the target tier zero. Uh, it was just a cheap ish base gear energy shield. That's two that I wouldn't mind leaving at tier one. Um, so it's probably the best of a bad bunch right now. Uh, res, we don't really care about on this character. Um, This is probably not going to be good. We're running really low on plasticity now. And I think this is just going to be a brick as well. Aura effect. I don't think I have enough, do I? Get this to tier one. If this uses more, no, nah, okay, this can go to tier one as well. Lucky. So how it had, um, say 13 to 33, that's the maximum amount of um, plasticity that it can use. So as long as you have one plasticity left, going from tier two to tier one, you can do it. So in this instance, uh, this can go to 26% max energy shield, which is quite nice. Uh, however, aura effect is really, really quite good. So let's go with terror charge stacks and then aura effect and that bricked because it removed the tier one. Now we need to go back and buy more bases, uh, which is a shame. Since we starred them, we can just go back to uh, here. That's actually a really terrible base because that's that gear energy shield is just for the helmet, which honestly is pretty much the last craft that I care about on this helmet. So I'm just going to unstar that one because I don't actually want that base. Um, but these are really interesting. 
It's a lot more expensive, <clears throat> but we'll try for one anyway. That plus one spell skill level might be really good. So we lock these and go to craft. Hopefully we hit something good or effect. Uh, I'll hit that at tier zero. I don't mind that at all. So now we want to up the terror charges that removed the max life. Now we want to do aura effect and remove the crit damage and it bricked another item. So this is end game crafting in a nutshell. We've just bricked four bases. Uh, we're running out of ultimate embers as well. So eventually we're going to have to, um, Uh, buy more materials. So let's buy another three bases. It's a shame that one bricked because this plus one spell skill would have been nice. All right, back to this. We've got our two that we want to keep and we just want to get a, um, <clears throat> a third tier one. Now, I could just craft this one up, but I've got a lot of plasticity left and I need about 100 to get that to tier one. So I can be greedy and hope to get two affixes that I wouldn't mind keeping. Energy shield. Going to do this down to about one fifty. Doesn't look like I'm going to get what I want. Affliction effect might be really nice. Um, however, I'll just go with this. It it'll probably brick anyway. <clears throat> so we get that one up to tier one. Again, tier zero, it hasn't bricked yet. Max terror charge stacks, we're out of ultimate embers. Alrighty, I've bought another 30 ultimate embers. Back to prototype, we want to upgrade the terror and remove the area damage, which we finally got a base that is good. <coughs> Excuse me. So overall, we bricked um, one, two, three, four. That was the most expensive base that was about 300 the rest were i don't know about 30 so it's quite pricey to get to this point however that is the i guess that's the most annoying part of this entire process now what we want to do is we want to target craft on um the last two to three affixes uh, I say two to three because sometimes you want to do a dream craft on the helmet. However, this one, I think we'll just stick with the basics and um, not go for that. So we want to select three affixes that we want. Um, gear energy shield in the helmet or max energy shield. Um, let's just see the chances of this. So the chances of hitting that is actually quite good. So it's a 54% chance to get any tier of that. And there's a 98... Okay, why isn't that just 100%? I don't know. Um, chance to get that. So... There's an item level 100. Why is that not showing a tier 0? That's very strange. Anyway... A tier zero of this or a tier one is a 5.25% chance if you add both of these together. Uh, whereas this is a 3.5% chance to get tier one. There mustn't be a tier zero version. That's very bizarre. <clears throat> Weird. Anywho, um, so since that's a 54% chance, I might just go for that instead. And then the suffixes that we want is affliction and aura effect. So affli affliction and aura. Aura has a 26% chance to get anything and affliction has a 54% chance to get anything. Ideally, I would want a tier zero uh, aura and a tier zero affliction. So 60% affliction effect 
uh, and 25% aura effect. Um, so now you just need to choose which one you want at tier zero, because that's the one that you're going to spam, and then the next one you're going to hit and hope to get uh, a tier one or a tier zero as well. Uh, tier zero, double tier zero is extremely rare, and if you're going for that, you want to have at least 10,000 flame elementium, um, which is super expensive, uh, but that is what you get. So I think I'll go with affliction effect on this, and you just want to hit reforge until you get a tier zero. Often I will go settle for a tier zero or a tier one, because if I hit double tier one, then I'm quite happy with that. Obviously a tier zero and a tier one would be even better. But this part here is just spam until you get something. So now we've got a tier zero. Now we want to hit a um, tier one aura effect. It's only a 26% chance. This is probably going to be a blemish. So we got a blemish and the max energy shield would be tier three. Now we just reforge and keep going and try for something else. Now I could go with aura effect first because it is a 26% um, chance to hit anything, but it's still a 5.25% chance to hit what we want, uh, which is exactly the same for uh, affliction. So I don't want a tier two of either of these. I want tier one or tier zero. Um, so we hit Affliction Effect at Tier 1, Aura Effect was a Tier, um, or a Blemish, sorry. So then we just go back to spamming until we get uh, t double Tier 1 or a Tier 0 and a Tier 1. So Tier 1 and a Blemish. And this is just where you delete Flame Elementium like crazy and you really need to um, have a lot of flame elementium. I'm going to pause this here and I'll see you if I hit it in the next 1800 flame elementium. All right, so we've used 500 flame elementium. At this point, you could try for a dream crafting effect, which could potentially get this to be nice. However, Doing it at this point is probably a bit of a waste. Um, looking at the Truth Ember, where you just re-roll the values, equal to a Divine in um, Path of Exile. We have High Affliction, High-ish, oh, it's mid-range Aura, but we also have almost Max Energy Shield. So, if you were to um, do Dream Interpretation for this item, Looking at an end game one, which is the second tab here, we could go to the one that we just crafted. And what we want to hit is um, not Deep Dream. So upgrade the affixes next to, we want um, the fifth affix or the sixth affix by one to three tiers. And we want three tiers because we want the um, affliction effect to go from tier two to tier one to tier zero. So two um, levels. And that would also upgrade the aura effect to tier zero. And then we would have a tier zero, tier one, tier four, tier zero, tier zero, tier zero, which would be really quite nice. It is kind of expensive. It uses profound dream talkings, uh, which are going for about 10 each, I think, last time I checked. They're about 11 FE each. <clears throat> you only get three attempts at a helmet, so 30 uh, total would do it, which is 330 flame elementium. We're rapidly running out of flame elementium, so let's just try this three times and see what we get. We do have to take a downside. The downside that we probably want is anything to do with the third um, affix because that's the least uh, important or maybe the second, I don't know, one of the two. So this uses the readability of an item. Once readability hits zero, you can't do this step anymore. 
So we do dream talking, see what we get. We got upgrade the affixes next to number five by two tiers. So that's gonna upgrade affliction effect to tier zero. Um, we could do that or that, but this is the one that we want. Uh, I guess we wanted a tier one here, a tier zero there, a tier one there, and then hit number five, but this is what we got. So you hit record. And then the downsides are um, <laughs> downgrade all prefixes by one tier. Obviously that's the lowest tier of that, so that can't go down. Downgrade all the suffixes by one tier, which defeats the purpose of doing this at all, and replaces the number six, which we just upgraded with a blemish. So obviously all three of them are terrible, um, but you have to take one. So that's confirmed. We don't want that. We can just re-roll um, that off the item and go back to a, uh, a base. It costs 10 of these, or if you want to do more crafts, you can just slap it back in and try again. So we'll try again. Upgrades um, the two next to the number four affix by two tiers. So that's gonna upgrade our max energy shield and the aura effect. Uh, we'll do that and see what the downside is. The downside is replace number two with a blemish or another horrible uh, option there. That one hmm, is not great because that's gonna give us a tier one and a tier two. This step is highly RNG and uh, often quite terrible. So now we've got a tier one, two, three, zero, zero, two. So that's you know worse than just having a, a crafted base. Um, we'll try it one more time just for shits and giggles. <clears throat> this time that replaces that with uh, that, upgrades the affixes next to the number one by three tiers. That's already a tier one, even though it looks like a tier two. That's from the previous one. We'll record that, see what the downside is. Downgrade all suffixes. Downgrade that by two or replace that with a blemish. So none of those results were good, unfortunate. Let's go back to spamming um, crafting to see if we can get something good. To do that, you need to rewind the item yeah, that's a horrible item now. So we rewind and we have our crafting base back. Then you just go back to crafting. Um, I could accept this item. However, I've still got a thousand flame elementium to go. So let's just uh, go back to hitting these and see if we get lucky. All right, so unfortunately we didn't really hit anything um, good in this crafting session, but this is an end game craft. And if you go into this with, you know, 3000 flame elementium and expect to hit a godly item, then you're probably not gonna get it. And, um, you know, if it was that easy, then there would be a lot of these up on the trade house for less than, you know, 3K. So anyway, what we have now is we've got 80 flame elementium left, which is not ideal. So there is one more step that I can do to try and make this a little bit better. And that is uh, back to dream crafting, but the, um, the lesser version instead. So we have our item here. Um, we don't have many of these uh, attempts either. And what we want to hit is, um, we want to hit upgrade the fifth affix. Now, you may think that prefix is one, two, three, and suffix is four, five, six. That is, excuse me, not correct in dream crafting. This is one, two, three, four, five, and there is no sixth affix. So just keep that in mind. 
we want upgrade the Bith Affix by uh, two tiers if it's lower than anything. It's generally if it's lower than tier one or tier two. This is tier four, so it's almost guaranteed. Uh, if we hit that, we've only got 10 attempts. We'll see what we get. So this is when the number three affix is lower than tier two, upgrade by two tiers. We want that to be when the number five affix, the fifth affix, is lower than... Um, so we just abandon and try again. And then the downside that we want to hit, we want to um, replace the sixth affix with a blemish, which is this empty one here, which will mean that it does nothing. So we didn't get it again. We've only got eight attempts left. Replaces the number six affix with a street dream. There is no six affix, which would be this one here. Well, if there was one there, it would be affliction effect. However, there's nothing there, so that is the sixth. Um, it's a little bit confusing, but once you wrap your head around it, it makes sense. So a couple of attempts left at this. One, the number, there we go. It upgrades it by one. So let's just do this to see what it's going to give. Replace number four with a blemish. Downgrades all suffixes or downgrades that. None of that is good. So we'll just go back and keep going. Now, remember we have to keep um, 10 <clears throat> to rewind it. This will be our last attempt. When the number five is lower than tier two, upgrade by one. That is this again. So we'll record it and see what our downside is. All prefixes, uh, that's reduced and that's reduced. So none of those are good. We're just gonna rewind and uh, be happy with what we have because we're out of currency to um, craft at all. So we started with, I don't know, 2,800 or 3,000 flame elementium, whatever. And unfortunately, this is what we are left with. Now, <clears throat> I do have an open affix there, so I can go to the arms dealer and see what he will let me enchant onto this. We can put life, mana, gear energy shield, 37%. Um, mana and gear energy shield, minion. So none of that's really good. So we may as well just go back to the crafting and target craft on the max energy shield. And this will be uh, total. There's a 54% chance. If this is a blemish, then I should have done the... Um, Enchant, but let's see what we get. It's tier four, so 13% overall max energy shield. Um, and that is the end of the crafting. The gear em empowerment is pretty good, so it's not really necessary um, to go for that extra six. I do have a thousand, but I won't bother. Anywho, is that better than this? I actually don't know, because this has skill area and terror charge quantity or max terror quantity. I'm guessing terror charge and max terror quantity are the same thing. Um, so I guess we can see that's terror charges, right? So that's seven. And with this, it's nine. No idea what that number is. Anyway, that's what I've got. Um, thanks for watching. And that was meant to be quick, but it ended up being long, as usual. Thanks for watching. Cheers.